What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Today, today is the day. You guys probably didn't see this coming. Maybe it did. I don't know, but the piston's out. That only means one thing. This thing's not going to move for a very long time. So without leaving you guys hanging too much, we had this transmission built 13 years ago. Or <laughs> 13 years ago. We had this transmission built 13 months ago. Um, I'm not saying anything bad about it because I love this transmission. This transmission is great. I'd do it again, and I'm gonna do it again. Um, we're gonna be sending it back to Superstick in Texas to kind of figure out what went wrong. But let me show you guys what actually happened first. What we're dealing with, I guess I should say. So, you come in here. Start track. First, it's there. Second's there. Third's there. Fourth. Fourth gear is pissed. Fourth gear is gone. So, so what we're going to be doing today, my main objective, my main goal for the day, we're going to get that transmission pulled back on the ground, getting ready to send it back to Texas to super stick. Um, we'll go over all this stuff at the end too, but it's it's nothing, I'm not blaming the transmission, I'm not blaming super stick, I wanna get that clear right now. Things happen and can happen to anything, nothing is indestructible, it's just, it, it, it is what it is, It's a, it sucks, it's kind of an unfortunate thing, but it's okay, we can fix it. So I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna get to work because um, this is happening today. So let's get it. So a little update, we got the transfer case out, drive lines are out. Now it's time to drain this thing, and this is what's gonna be exciting. Can you see in the bucket? Yep. Out of the It's supposed to be really close. Oh, well that came out. Yeah. Oh no, it's broken. I told you that. <laughs> it's broken. No, like the gear piece. Yeah. Those aren't supposed to come out of there. Yeah. One time now, the last place wanted to come out. A few. Ooh, what does it feel like? You can feel it. Can I feel Ew. it? Can I feel it's it? It's oil. It's oil. Can I feel it, Dad? Sure, Dale. Ah! This one. Oh, that feels gross. So, here. Let's try do you want to make the video and tell everybody what that is and where we found it? Go ahead, do it then. That was inside of the oil, so... Speak up, make sure they can hear you. That was inside the oil, so we didn't need to take it all out. 
We did feel like it took a while, but we did it. And so far, we do have to get the gears fixed, but that might not be today. But we might be able to. Who knows? Or Time not. Or Time or not. So we drained the oil. Didn't look like much coming out. There's a little bit of uh, there's a little bit of dust in there, but this is what we found from what just from what we can get out of the drain plug. There's probably more, way more in there, but this this all this here that's all fourth gear. Uh, I'm sure there's a bunch more in there. It just looked like we just stripped it clean. So we have everything that we need done to this point transfer case drive lines um bell housing bolts all but two i have two one here one here just kind of for moral support right now i do like to throw a strap around the bell housing for some reason because i'm gonna grab it right here with the jack probably grab it right here with the jack anyway i'm gonna move the jack in all i have to do is slip this cross member out and it's coming out I will be honest, there are way more efficient ways to do this. Last time me and Doug had this transmission back, separated the bell housing from the engine. Only took about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Um, but this time, it's taken me a while. I just don't have any ambition today, but either way, we got to get it done. we got to get this thing out and on a pallet. Um, I only have the one day, and I'm kind of doing my best to take the whole part of the day, I guess. But... I'm gonna get you guys set up. Let you guys hopefully see this thing come out good. If it doesn't, you'll know. But see what we can do, see if we can get it on the ground and be done with this project. got it out it's all said and done sitting right there ready to go on a pallet and be done <clears throat> sent back um, rebuilt whatever happens to it happens to it oh man um, today I think I said it before but you know last time me and Doug slid that thing back took like 45 minutes we were both hammering on it today I didn't quite feel it um, so just kind of Went about my day, did it little by little. Obviously, it's getting not dark, but the sun's going down now. Um, took a lot of breaks, but it is what it is. Um, I didn't take the clutch out yet, but I'm going to. I'll show you guys that one next. And then through the whole thing, I'll keep uh, keep you guys up on it. Also, perfect opportunity, since the truck's going to be down for a while, I can actually go through and get some things finished up, like the gauge install and a few other things and see what else might happen to it but that's going to be it for this one uh, appreciate you guys watching i didn't go too deep on the whole disassembly because we've done before so if you guys are curious um at the end of this video when the little things come up the video will be there so thank you guys for watching